In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the Exeter IT self-service portal. You can access the portal by going to www.ex.ac.uk slash IT self-service. You'll need to log in with your Exeter username and password. Once you've logged in, you will see the following homepage. In what follows, I will go through the homepage in some detail before elaborating on the specific functions of the IT self-service portal. To begin with, we have the Request IT AV Service or Support button. You can use this to log a call with the IT help desk, to report an IT fault, or to request an IT service. Moving on, we have the My Request button. You can use this button to view outstanding requests with the IT help desk and update them if necessary. Finally, we have the Knowledge Base, which contains a video and PDF repository of guides we have made for common IT faults and queries. You can use this to see if you can track down the answer to your queries. We have many guides ranging from email setup to how to combat viruses on Windows PCs. Below this, we have recent requests, which details the last five requests you have made with the IT help desk. If you click on one, you can see it in a bit more detail. And looking at the tabs along the top here, we have diary, which lets you see the interactions between yourself and the IT help desk person. You ha can update this instant, which will update the call with uh, the text you, you wish to update it with. Or you can rate this instant, which you can do once the call has been resolved, provide feedback to the IT help desk. Closing this window and returning to the home page, on the right hand side here you see my favourite solutions. We will go through this in a bit more detail, but this basically enables you to favourite your knowledge base articles for quick access. And you can see I have a few favourited here. Moving over onto the right hand side, we have IT hot issues and planned maintenance. This lists any disruptions to IT service or any planned work which we believe will have an impact on the IT service we can offer. You can click on any of the links here to see the issue in a bit more detail. Closing this, along the bottom we have hints and tips and a section on information security. On the left hand side we have some navigation links, many of which do very similar functions to the buttons we've been through. In the remainder of this video tutorial, I'm going to go through the specific functions of the Exeter IT Self-Service Portal in a little bit more detail. To begin with, we're going to look at the Request IT AV Service or Support button. If you click on this, you will see the following screen. Essentially, this is how you log calls with the IT Help Desk through the Self-Service Portal. Now, it's worth noting this screen will look a little bit different depending on whether you are a staff or a student of the university. It will have the same basic layout, though. If we look at the top, we have Service Requests and a link to request IT support. If you click on this, you can log a call to the IT help desk and um, fill out basic details and click on submit request to submit it to the IT help desk. Clicking on home and going back to the request IT AV service or support button. Underneath request IT support we have a search box. Below that we have a my favorite services which we'll go into in a bit more detail later on. And then we have my services. My Services lists predefined wizards that will enable you to log calls for service requests and they are set up in such a way to enable you to give the right information to the IT help desk so they can resolve your query as soon as possible. If we have a look, for example, at PC Setup and click on Raise Request, it will generate the following web form which is geared towards getting the right information so that the IT help desk can set up your, your PC in the quickest possible time. So, for example, in this web form it will ask you about a contact number, a location, and if possible the service tag of your computer. You can navigate through the web form filling in the information in the boxes and clicking next before finally having an option to submit the web form to the IT help desk. Going back to the home navigational link and clicking on request IT AV service support. If you have a service you're using quite a lot of the time and you want to favorite it, all you need to do is expand the service. In this case, we're going to use PC setup and you need to have the box checked, which says show as favorite. As you can see, this is shown as favourite, and so therefore it shows up under My Favourite Services. Clicking on the home screen, we're now back in the main page of the self-service portal. We're now going to look at the My Request section. So click on the My Request button to access this section. You'll see the following screen, which lists all calls you have with the IT help desk. Using the status box here, you can choose whether you look at all open calls, active calls, on hold, resolved, closed or any. This will filter the list accordingly. If you want to have a look at the call in a bit more detail, simply click on it and the call details box will appear. You can use this to have a look at the diary where you can see all interactions you've made with the IT help desk. You can update this instant by clicking on the update instant tab and you can fill in your update here and click to submit to the IT help desk. You can also upload files using this dialog box here. 
You can then finally rate this incident if the call has been resolved and provide some feedback to the IT help desk. Closing this box and clicking on Home, we return to the Home screen. And finally, we're going to have a look at the Knowledge Base. Clicking on the Knowledge Base, you will see this simple search form. All you need to do here is type in your query um, and click on Search or press the Enter key. So in this case, we're going to type in Email and click on Search. You can see it's found a few results, and we're going to choose Outlook 2007 and an additional mailbox. Clicking on this will bring the up the Knowledge Base screen. On the left-hand side here, you can see you have some useful links and some related articles, which are any articles that we think relate to the one you're currently looking at. You can see, see here you have an article on 2010, adding an additional mailbox, which you may be interested in if you're looking at the 2007 article. At the middle of the screen, we have a video tutorial um, for you, which you can full screen by clicking on this button here, and you can pause and play. Um, and indeed, you can adjust the quality by clicking on the settings button here. Underneath this, in certain knowledge base articles, we have a PDF guide equivalent, which will load up a PDF equivalent of the video, and so you can choose whichever way you want to, to follow this through. Below this, we have our Add to Favorite Solutions. Now, if we do this, if we click on Yes, it will have a little dialog box which says, Thank you for adding this article to your favorite solutions. If we click on OK, and if we click on Close this window, that will return us to the search, um, search results. If you then click on the My Favorite Solutions tab, you will see that Outlook 2007 has been added. If you click on Home, you will see that Outlook 2007 Add an Additional Mailbox has also been added under My Favorite Solutions. So we can click on this for easy access. Going back into the Knowledge Base article, below My Favorite Solutions, we have a feedback form. Um, feedback is very important and will help us uh, improve these articles. So feel free to fill this out. You've got some checkboxes here and a free text box here. Once you've done this, click Submit and your feedback will be sent to the IT Help Desk. So to come out of this screen, click on Close this window and it will take you back to the Exeter IT Self Service portal. That's it for this video tutorial. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact the IT Help Desk and we can give you further advice on how to use our portal.